that a little bit today. But let's start with this, the Bob Huggins story. Bob Huggins, after the last 24 to 48 hours with the constant, uh, what is going to happen to him? And it, this has been somewhat polarizing. Pete Thamel had this earlier, and this is an update. All parties uh, have agreed to the stipulations needed for Bob Huggins to return to the sideline next year. It includes a three-game suspension, a million-dollar salary reduction, details of his uh, sensitivity training, and then also the fact that some of that money, I'm not sure if that million dollars is going towards different groups at Xavier or elsewhere, but there is the deal. Did they get it right? Well, I, I think so. I think actually it's more money he's donating to uh, some groups at Xavier uh, University uh, as well. And so, yeah, it's a million dollars comes off that they're not going to pay him. I think they got it right. I mean, that's a that's a really, really stiff fine. It's a million dollars uh, for, for this. So, yeah, I think so. I think that we need to at least attempt as a society of letting someone correct their wrongs. I, I think. I mean, you know, sometimes people are too far beyond the pale. I do not think Bob Huggins is that guy. And, you know, again, also, if you decide to cast people out and say, well, you made this mistake and you had this belief that's that's incorrect or this, you know, you use this language that's wrong uh, by ruining their lives, you're never going to get them to come over to your side and learn why it's hurtful. You're just hurting someone because they hurt you. And that's not productive. So it's not so much coming over to their side. It's just understanding. Well, yeah, things I mean, better, like, yeah, right? exactly. You're not going to get anybody to understanding and have any kind of, of common ground on anything and understand why what they said hurts you or is hurtful or is not funny or whatever you were trying to do. If you just say, that's it, you're cast out. And so I think this is good. I mean, look, $1 million doesn't hurt Bob Huggins as most it hurt much, most people, but still, that's a chunk. That's a big chunk of money that everybody would want to have. Uh, yeah, I mean, it sure pays to be a Hall of Fame basketball coach. Uh, that's for sure. I mean, I think that that, you know, uh, certainly helped in their decision is that he has had a long, illustrious career with a lot of success. And I think we can all agree that if he was some guy who they were ready to fire, this would have been the perfect opportunity mm -hmm. to fire him. True. Um, but they don't, and they didn't, and I don't think that that's the wrong decision either. Uh, I do think that his career helped in this decision as far as the way it turned out, but I am with Paul on the fact that I'm glad that it's not just let's run a scythe over the entire program and no one gets a chance at you know, contrition of any sort, and we just throw him into the wasteland and never hear from him again, and he's not allowed to talk to the world ever again. I, I do think there's far uh, too often incidents like that where – we just banish somebody without allowing them any chance to try and, and learn something or set an example for others to make sure that, uh, you know, other people maybe uh, don't say those types of things or ever have those types of uh, thoughts or emotions or whatever. So I do think it's a, it's a great opportunity for a learning experience. Um, you know, with any time when it's monetary and it's a coach who's making millions of dollars, I kind of roll my eyes, honestly, but a million dollars is a good chunk of money. And it is, as it said in the article and was laid out, it is going to, um, what was it? Uh, the LGBTQ plus center, uh, at the university, the Carew center and, and other state and national organizations that support marginalized communities. So that is where some uh, of that money will go. Um, and so, yeah, I, I don't know about, like, did they get it right or not? I think that's everybody's lone opinion, right? Like, everybody can probably have different thoughts on, they got it right, but there should have been more money. Or, like, they got the end result right, but this should have happened instead. So uh, we could all have our different version of that. But on, you know, the surface in general, um, I don't know right or wrong, but I feel like I do support the fact that they are, um, you know, not just saying, all right, the media is on our backs, let's fire him and apologize and get on our knees and beg for, you know, Twitter people's mercy. Um, because I think there is a lot of that that's gone off, excuse me, that's gone on. And, um, you know, in this case, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of, of different opinions, I'm sure, but uh, let's see how it, it works out. You know, he has no room for error. That much is obvious, nor should he have any room for error. And uh, we'll see how, you know, this uh, perhaps helps, you know, people in West Virginia or at the university or what have you, uh, you know, how, how that improves maybe relations or just the discussion about it in general. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. And I don't disagree nor, like, wholeheartedly go, like, yes, this was perfect. I'm just like, yeah, I, I understand giving him another chance, and I understand there being some protocols in place, and let's see what he does with it. 
Yeah, a couple of people have noted that his contract now, whatever, how many years was left on it, is now year to year, and that's probably smart. If the, if he and his attorney, perhaps, I'm not sure if that was a part of the agreement, that instead of three, five, or whatever years forever, uh, years left on it, if it goes year to year, that way any kind of concerns about a buyout or whatever, I'm just throwing that out, as I've seen that from a couple of people who report. And, and the chat room has been that way, uh, too. Also, um, being one of the most beloved figures in the history of the university buys you some leeway and second chances from yes, Carl does. Evans. Yes, it does. I mean, I, I don't think there's any doubt that comes into play here. Um, mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, you know, that's the way of the world, though, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we see it in every walk of life, so we can't be surprised when it happens to the Hall of Fame basketball coach. Uh, but, yeah, that definitely played into this. If he was, you know, a guy who was 9 and. 27 in his last you know two seasons and everybody hated him i'm sure that would have been the quickest exit door imaginable but he's not he's beloved by a lot of people he's won a lot of games they've got a great class coming in we know how this works all over the country uh, a lot of the time if you win you have a better chance of surviving whatever the issue may be most of the time and so i, I do think that that came into play here but I, I do think there are other elements to it as well mc gusta we'll have a west virginia analyst on today at uh, like 4 30 our time central time to discuss kind of the reaction in Morgantown and his thoughts about what's happened and transpired the last couple of days. Uh, from Stephen, uh, at the same time, just throwing money at a problem doesn't equate to changing how, how uh, let's see, I just uh, change a perspective or heart change. Sometimes there is something that can hit you right between the eyes and it can change you. There are certain things, I don't know, with Bob Huggins. I, I don't Bob Huggins made some stupid remarks. There's no question. Offensive as heck, but I, 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 there's something about him. I, I do think that he can, in this instant, he's got enough power and enough clout and enough of people who gravitate to him where he could possibly change some things. And hopefully it's not just for a couple of weeks while the story's hot, but also down the road, well, no matter who's watching and or not. And look. It's yeah, really Neil, hard. Someone just said Neil Brown would not have survived these comments. No, maybe Absolutely not. Absolutely not. not. He would have no. been gone yesterday. But, Absolutely. But, you know, and, and, and said, like MC Gusto said, like, it's ingrained in him and it, it won't change. Yeah, maybe. But maybe it won't be. Like, you know, like, I think we have to err on the side of compassion for all parties because where Bob Huggins erred was a failure in his humor to be compassionate. Because when he said what he said about Catholics and gay people, it was, it was not compassionate. It was hurtful to those particular groups of people, depending on how they feel about it. And we don't get to determine how other people feel about things. It, if we would, uh, it would, life would be maybe a whole lot easier. If I could just say, hey, feel like this. You like this food I just made for you. you you're all the same. That's not how the world works. So... If he had a failure to be compassionate, a failure to be compassionate back to him is is a ridiculous, stupid circle that's only got us into this point in this country where we are, where we're just mad at each other all the time yeah, and not and, talking. And I'm not saying this is not about Bob Huggins, but I, I got a, a bunch of direct messages and also some a couple of texts last night. But there's also this, it's wrong what he said, but there's also this immediate reaction that everybody's offended by everything. In this case, I get it. If, in fact, you're Catholic, if, in fact, you're LGBQ, if you're those, if in those groups, okay. That's, a, I can't, I don't know if it, it didn't offend me, but I'm, I'm, I also know what he said. I knew as soon as he said it, or as soon as I heard it, oh, dear God, this is going to be rather a challenge for Bob Huggins as the uh, Hall of Fame coach or not. So, um, so, and, and then Roger Dodger, those two groups you're discussing are completely opposites. Which is why it was such an interesting bigotry bingo that he hit on it. Uh, and yeah, he was, I don't, look, Bob Huggins was too comfortable. And yes, they're opposites. They're like, well, not necessarily because guess what? In the Catholic faith, there's a large group of people who also happen to be LGBTQ plus. They do. Uh, it's, it's larger than you may even think, or people who grew up that way and have left or whatever. So yeah, there's a lot, like I get that people want to draw black and white lines in the sand of this is different and that is different. It is not that different. Like it's, there are overlaps here where, where people do, and look, it was a joke. It was stupid. He shouldn't have said it, but 
you know, like you have only, to be a little compassionate. Only Bob Huggins knows how yeah. he can react to this, and uh, he might have gone to bed last night thinking perhaps that he was not going to coach West Virginia along with others who probably didn't think he would. I wondered if he would survive even with the power and the kind of person he's 